What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back for another quick look video at the beautiful Titania. But in our quick look videos, we take a look actually at Tenogen skins. So I'm excited. Um, the only issue that I, I, I bring up is the deluxe skin is phenomenal for Titania. And I'm under the impression a lot of people are going to be spending platinum, uh, you know, to get their hands on a lot of their fashion frame type stuff and might not be swiping their credit card to buy some of the Tenogen stuff, especially when we have such a good deluxe skin. So just to let you guys know, what I'm going to do is tomorrow I am going to be uploading another quick look video from the same artist that we are going to take a look at today. That's because if, you know, you are like, oh man, that deluxe is so good, I don't really plan on buying a Tenogen skin for Titania, I would like to show you guys at least another skin by the creator of, uh, you know, today's video that you will, you know, hopefully... I don't know, help help those guys out. I've met a lot of the uh, Tenogen creators already, and they're fantastic people. Um, but there are some I unfortunately have ha have not had the chance to meet yet. Um, I have personally actually met, uh, we're going to go, with the Titania Lymphares. Um, I actually have met Luke and you. Um, however, uh, Luke and you does not speak any English. So I've had very brief kind of communication um, there. there Luke and you was actually there with some friends and whatnot. Um, and one of their friends did speak some English, just a little bit. Um, but I did, you know, I, I thought they were great people. They were really, really nice. Um, they went to Tenokan. They, you know, they, they sat in with the Tenogen spot or Tenogen, uh, like creator uh, panel type stuff. Um, and they seemed like really good people. And of course, Luke and you makes some fantastic skins. So I figured let's get in, let's take a look and, uh, yeah, enjoy, uh, enjoy some Tenogen content. So, um, just as a heads up, the video that will be coming tomorrow, that is Luke and you's work as well, is going to be a quick look probably at the most famous Luke and you skin, which is the Octavia Diva skin. Um, I only say that because I believe that was Luke and you's first work that made it into the Tenogen program and people loved it and bought bought it like crazy so um if you haven't bought it yet or you still are on the fence about it subscribe see that video tomorrow and uh yeah i hope i hope it helps you guys out but of course we are taking a look let's go back at the titania with her you know beautiful uh, you know it's got the deluxe it's got an alternate helmet that i have going on here i have some beautiful fashion frames that i'm very very proud of i hope i can still do justice to this tenogen skin especially for those of you who are considering buying it so here we are with this crazy abstract color scheme and we have the titania lymphares and uh it is a beautiful skin. I, I really, like I said, I really hope I get to do it some justice as we go through and take a look at different color schemes. So this one, I don't really think does it justice. So let's kind of move on quickly from it. Uh, we're going to go with something here and jump over. We're going to go Lymphares and ooh, is that gorgeous? Ooh, this gives me like dark prime kind of vibes or even umbral kind of titania vibes, I guess. Um, it's not, you know, it's not really, really dark, but man, is it really regal and just gorgeous. So, um, let's actually just for the sake of the video, let's make sure we get it in a, you know, a nice, good, solid look at it and go Lymphares. Yeah, that's pretty. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Anyway, we'll go B slot, see what happens. Take this crazy Megan esque theme and transfer it over. And it, it does look good. You know, pink and blue. I think Megan would be proud. Um, I don't know if there's enough like light color in here for me, at least. Um, I would like maybe a, a, a gray or a white in here to kind of offset things a little bit, um, which could be easily added in. Um, but of course, I'm just quickly switching over my color scheme where I did have enough gray to make me happy with, with the deluxe. So um, I won't be changing anything, you know, personally. Um, but I might pick up the skin in the future and completely build a whole different Titania uh, with the fashion frame. So 
if I get the Limfara skin, you know, maybe you'll see a Tenogen spotlight in the future where you get to see exactly what I did with this design. So um, transferring over with some, you know, kind of gray and purple as of kind of the primary with some blue kind of tertiary or accent colors across. I do think it looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't blow me away, really. Uh, I, I don't do a whole lot of like white and purples in my in my design, so it's not really my taste, but maybe one of you guys out there loves it and you know maybe would like to incorporate it especially you know like i said if you're on the fence so it's nice it's just you know you know i already got i already you know anyways we go into the east lot we'll go titania this is very dynasty-esque i i kind of refer to kind of the red and light blue white kind of crazy stuff as like a dynasty theme it reminds me of like the the neja deluxe uh that we got but anyways we'll go transfer it over Ooh, that looks oh that looks great i really like that i really like that i do wish there was maybe a little bit more blue or uh, you know, even, yeah, I could probably work a little other color in here because I feel like maybe there's a little bit too much, you know, white or like like grayish red balance. And I would like a little bit more in there. But, oh, it's that's cool. I really like this metallic color that adds to, to kind of like the red. Oh, that's that's really good looking. That's really cool. Oh, if I could just tweak this the littlest bit, I'm sure this would make it into my final fashion framing if I were to buy the skin. That was, that was ooh, ooh, pleasantly surprised. Let's see what happens with this darker white and blue kind of look. And, oh, it takes a lot of the black away. But, yeah, it probably, it probably takes too much away, in my opinion. Definitely another one that I could work, or work out and make, you know, I'd be really, really happy with. But I feel like it's going in the right direction could definitely work with it and make it you know exactly how i want it but it's a good start it's not bad not bad so we'll go over and let's try out one of my other titanias we'll go i think i should have the ability to come over here okay i do have full slots so we got to do some randomizations later so uh, that's what i'm trying to pay attention to we have Okay, this is a very dark foresty kind of look for my Titania. Um, I, I, I did make this original Titania as like a, a woodland fairy kind of design. Um, and it looks pretty decent when it transfers across. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks bad. Some of you might be, you know, totally against the design. You may not be for you, but, you know. This was my first ever fashion frame for Titania when she came out ages ago. So, anyways, we'll go um, boop, boop, boop. This very uh, blue and black, darker, kind of crazy look. We'll see what happens. Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I do have another blue and black design, but with different attachments and a slight different change with colors. But, um... I was going with a, like a energy corpus -y, like electronic based titania. Does that make sense? Anyways, and uh, yeah, it transfers over pretty good. I probably wouldn't use these attachments. I'd probably change things up quite dramatically. Um, but other than that, the colors were nice. Oh, here we go. Edgy. Let's see how edgy the Lymphaeus skin could be. Ooh, Okay. It's not bad. I'm not really, you know, into the edgy design, but there are a few frames that I go, man, I, I can't help it. It's, it looks so good. Um, this does look pretty good. It does look pretty good. It might not be for every edgelord out there because she is a fairy frame, but you know what? Yeah, <laughs> there's some people out there that have to have an edgy frame or edgy look on every frame. So, yeah, there's, there's your chance. There's your chance. Um, this looks pretty good. Kind of a really light gray, pink, very feminine-esque, very cool. Um, I like it. I like it. I, I don't know. Maybe this maybe this would make it in my final fashion frame, just because it feels very Titania, very, you know, fairy-like. So not bad. Not bad. E-slot, something a little similar to what we had before, but a little darker colors in different spots. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. 
Ooh, that looks so good. That looks really, really, really good. Really, really, really good. I like it. I like it. I haven't really talked too much about the skin, but uh, lots of textures. Definitely, um, you know, more, I say, texture driven rather than like plain sleek. Um, you know, we got like uh, lots of little, I don't know. What do you what do you want to call it? A little just just sculpting done in all the right places to make this feel real. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. Butterflies are pretty gorgeous, of course. Being a Luke and you design, that got the cool like clear glassy look. Um, helmet's gorgeous. Like her like her hair is all whipped back and got the oh it's it's so nice butterfly up there. Very cool. I like it. I like it. Of course. The highlight with the the wings looking really really nice. Ooh, what a great skin! It's a great skin. It really is. Um, just are you gonna are you gonna swipe the card? Are you gonna swipe the card? That's what I'm worried about. Oh my goodness! Wow, that's so good. That is so good. Absolutely, one of would be one of my fashion frames. No doubt about it. Wouldn't change a thing. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this. I love this. This this alone almost sells me on the skin. On it, like like, I love it. I love it. That looks so 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 good, so 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 good. Oh man, fantastic! All right, I think we have one more. Uh, yeah, this is the other white and blue. So we'll quickly you know bounce through and check it out. Very similar to what we saw before. I think there's just a, a blue where there's a black or something on the other one. Something crazy. But I did different uh, attachments. Because I, I set her up. I forgot what weapon I set her up with. But it made sense. It made sense. Anyways, we'll go over. Yeah, I haven't randomized this one. This We're probably going to randomize over this one. I do believe... Oh, goodness. I do believe the color palette that these colors were pulled from changed. And it totally twisted my old-fashioned frame. Um, it just It's just not right. Same with this one. This used to look a lot like the other like woodland fairy I was talking about but it something changed I think I don't know anyway ooh actually that doesn't look too bad the purple kind of kills it for me cuz it's totally clashes but uh, other than that I had, I do think that looks pretty nice I could I could work with this and make this like you know exactly what I would expect a Luke and you uh you know kind of design converted with the woodland fairy design kind of idea that i had so anyways i could make that work for sure d slot we got something a little bit abstract kind of that white and orange something i typically don't run whatsoever in my fashion framing um it, it looks all right it looks okay i don't really i don't hate it I, I think i do need to try out some more like black orange and like grayish looks or like light color white whitish grayish kind of looks i think i need to try that out more and play around with that as fashion frame ideas but um because i did notice i won't lie i didn't notice that when it was like this i oh oh before i clicked over i was like ooh, ooh, i could work with it and i feel like i need to do like i said a little bit more orange in my fashion framing so we'll go across Ooh, that's nice too Ooh, that's pretty i like it I like it. I think I would probably lighten up the blue maybe a little bit and maybe even lighten up the gray or kind of, I don't know, kind of play with those colors a little bit to get it a little bit more bright and happy, I guess, for a fairy. But I don't know. Maybe you want to go dark, real dark. That's okay. That's okay. But uh, F, jump over. Ooh, teal or green, emerald. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that looks very, very good. Oh, wow. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, a lot. That would probably become a fashion frame, too. Ooh, I might have to buy it. I might have to buy it. Um, let's go. B-slot, we're going to randomize this deal. Um, let me pull all the attachments off because I feel like I'm just going to hide some of the beauty. Let's not hide the beauty. Okay. All right, we'll leave the ephemera on there because why not? Uh, that's not what I meant to do. We'll go random. <gasps> oh, well, we might have a winner right here. We might have a winner right here. 
Ooh, boy. Ooh, I, we've already kind of had a blue and purple color scheme, but the fact that the white is the primary, the blue is kind of the secondary, and the purple is all the metallic highlights looks so good. Wow, I like it. I have to, I have to keep it just in case. We'll get rid of this one. Um, let's see what happens. What? What? Uh, I want to give, you know, pretty much everything a chance, especially if we haven't seen it yet. Um, this is kind of dark, but it doesn't look bad. I think I could work with it, but I not, you know, not, not really something that would probably end up in my final fresh. Ooh, that's good too. It looks very similar to what we had before, but the dark blue and the very bright white. Ooh, it makes me want to go save this one and go change the other. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It makes it hurts. You know what? As much as oh, I don't want to change anything. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to change anything. All right. Uh, as much as this looks good, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta keep that other one. I got to. I got to. Okay. This is another one that looked. Look, kind of like the other one where I could work with it. Not bad. Uh, I'm not going to really do that now, but potential. Oh, this is a little bit down the Dynasty Avenue. Kind of cool. But uh, definitely would need some work to be to, to really fit my taste. But um, oh, that's pretty too. The, the like emerald green, purple. Cool. I hate to I hate to get rid of this one because it did look really, really good, but it's a little, once again a little similar to something we had before. Wow. This is the right kind of edgy. I want to remove the green, though. Like, the green metallics. Maybe you like it. It's very Christmassy. But I want to remove the green and see if I could do this some justice another way. Ooh. That's kind of the white and orange or gray and orange that I was talking about. I could I can make this work so I think I'm gonna leave it on this one I might be buying the skin now really taking a look at at some of these these colors um, red should I turn this red orange and kind of make that that color scheme I was talking about I don't want to overdo it though either oh wow Woo. I think I gotta buy it. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope, you know, if you were on the fence, it made you decide. Or, like I said, if you're like, ah, that deluxe, I already got it, I already looks so good. Whatever the, your decision might be, be sure to check back tomorrow. Subscribe would be awesome. You don't have to, but if you wanna check back, I'm gonna show another one of Luke and Yu's works off tomorrow. Like I said, Octavia, um, great skin, gorgeous. That way, I could properly highlight Luke and use work. Um, I've also done several other quick looks at Luke and use work. So just check out the channel. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you, like I said, if you would like to. And uh, I even did a full blown Tenogen spotlight on the Mirage Mithra. If you would like to check that out as well, you can do that in the end screen. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Blah.